If they're above, why is our heart in this world? Why are we fixed on the things of this life? Why are we seeking those things which are above? Are we crucified with Christ? God is all-knowing, omniscient, the most wise in existence. He knows it was such a burden, such a supreme privilege as the anointing from on high. One must be found faithful in all walks of life before men and more importantly in the secret place. Before God alone. Friend, if we expect God to live toward us, how much more we ought to live solely towards God. And that He died for all, that they which shall live, not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto Him which died for them and rose again. 2 Corinthians 5.15 Are you seeking to receive the anointing that renders the yoke of bondage powerless? The yoke that so snares and deceives souls to eternal torment? One must ask himself, am I in love with God with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength? If you want the anointing, you have to ask yourself, am I in love with God? Is it what I truly want? Because it comes with sacrifice. It comes with you denying yourself. And we can say we want to deny ourselves, but when it comes down to the moment, are we willing? Are you able to drink of the cup? Are you able to endure the baptism that Christ was baptized with? The Holy Spirit's been asking me that. Are you able? Are you willing? Am I valuing the opportunities and ministry God has already trusted me with? Am I being faithful, devout in heart, mind fixed on His divine goodness, not only in presence of others, but in the absence of now even more as Paul says in Philippians 2 12 the Bible says the father seeks those who worship in spirit and in truth John 4 23 are you only spiritual in church or only spiritual when around other Christians does your walk with God turn on and off as you go about your work day friend if so run to his mercy seat repent of all lightheartedness if any man love the world the Bible says the love of the Father is not in him. God wants to give us an anointing today. God wants to give us this power to overcome. Jesus said in seven times to the churches in Revelation, he who overcomes, he who overcomes. The Bible says this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. It's time faith arise. It's time that, that we, the church of Jesus, rise up, be strong. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Friends, God bless you. Um, I didn't go into all the sermon today, but I'm going to keep it brief. Um, I pray that the Lord give us grace, help us, strengthen us. And friends, that we go out. Time is short and we need to go to the harvest. Jesus said, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, beseech the Lord of the harvest that he may send laborers into the field. My friends, let us be a man and a woman living in the secret place. Not among others, but among God. God bless you, my friends.